Good evening, everyone. As you may well know, there are numerous caterpillars in the world, but I am a very distinct one. I am the only caterpillar in history who is so proud of himself to have been chosen to narrate this full-blown, spectacle, musical love story with political and social overtones. <laughs> this is such an honor. You have no idea. I mean, they could have asked Brad Pitt or Steven Spielberg or Steven Sutheim or Bono or worse, Donald Rumsfeld. But no, they asked me. Applause. 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 Oh, thank you, thank you, and thank you. You know you'd make a really cute butterfly. Think about it. And now, our story begins. Once upon a time, there lived a girl named Nej White. She is very passionate and such a lovely sight. She is smart, she is fit, she is everything a girl should be. Except she lives in Death Valley, where life is mediocrity and very, very dull. Your mother and I are very proud of your accomplishments, Nej. And now it's time to move. To leave your home in Death Valley. And start living. Everything is so dead here. Oh, you're so literary, darling. It's my major. I'm going to study Aristotle, Sigmund Freud, and James Joyce. I'm going to be a free thinker. No longer part of this barren wasteland. Our little girl is going to Princeton. And this will be your first time out of Death Valley. I can't wait. But, Nesh, I do worry about bad weather. New Jersey is not Death Valley. I know that. Your mother's talking about the snow, Nesh. Are you prepared for bad weather? Oh, I've never seen snow before except on mountaintops. Oh, I'm so excited for my first snowfall. Do you remember pack your toothbrush? Uh-huh. Your floss? Yeah. Your mouthwash? Yeah. The Night blue. light? Mm -hmm. Blanket? Galoshes? Leggings? Earbuds? Enough, Mom and Dad. I'm an independent woman, leaving my home in Death Valley and going to Princeton. Uh, what's my allowance? $100. A week? No, a month. <laughs> Oh, Mom, no! You might have to get a job, Nedge. And work? Me? Dad? No! Ouch! Oh, gosh! Watch out for the sun, Nedge. Those rays can be very <laughs> harmful. <laughs> it's time to go, Nedge. The bus is here. A bus to Princeton? After I had 3,000 miles in a bus? It's a Greyhound. Only the best for our little Nedge. <laughs> Greyhound. <laughs> Stuck in a Greyhound bus for three days. Well, bye, Mom and Dad. All right, every week, and I love you. Goodbye, our sweet and darling Nej. But why a bus? Bye! Once upon a time in Alto Alto Highlands lived a young man blessed with fortune and fame. He has wealth, he has class, and he drives a BMW and orange drums and sax. His parents give him everything, treat him like a regal king, even though he's nothing but a simple-minded prince. You know, Prince, leaving your privileged life here in Alto Alto Highlands and attending my alma mater, Princeton University, it's merely a stepping stone to wealth and position. True, true. You know what's even better than that? What's that? I'm gonna live in a mansion one day. Yes, you are. You've been everything to us. That is why we named you Prince. You are and always will be our little Prince. Prince, 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 Prince. It's a funny name, but it's yours. We named you after our favorite book. I know. Prince. You told me the story a thousand. Le, Le petit, petit Prince. Oh, but Stanford. Now he's our Grand Prince. You're right, Wellesley. I forget. <laughs> grand. I'm grand, all right. Now, Prince, don't forget to keep your grades up. Pledge of leadership, fraternity. I will. Dress only in cashmere. And only date a girl for your social and economic class. Never below. Wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> and look, it's Prince the Dad and Brothers. He's Cliff and Michelangelo. I wish you'd stop referring to us as your adopted sons. No, mine is weird. Being adopted is <laughs> I wish I were adopted. But you're my darling biological son! Mom, Dad, I know I've asked this many times before, but are you sure I'm not adopted? Of course I'm sure, but I show no favoritism. I'm a red state mother. In a red state family. So proud, so proud. Oh, Prince, you don't want to be late for your plane. I'm ready to take on the world. Remember your first class ticket. Your visa card with unlimited credit.
right in? Never without it. Your iPod? Your 64 inch big screen plasma TV. Platinum Mega Wheeze Portal. I love the smell. It drives the ladies wild. Gucci sunglasses. It's all about me. Can we go and visit Prince? Anda la ma, please, please. <laughs> oh, sure, why not? You'll be leaving the nest next year. Uh, sure, just uh, charge your tickets, boys, and, and have fun with the Prince. And pull your pants up, too, young man. Bye, boys, take, take on, on the world. My baby boy's leaving. Once upon a time, our story is sublime And told in empty rhymes, and filled with dangerous crimes What love is all about, and now it's time to shout Of love and joy and bells that ring It's time to sing and begin this thing Once upon a time Once upon a time, our story begins